This is it. Hey, Monty. Do you want to do the video? Do the video. Monty, there you go. In our last video, we did a road trip through Texas. We're going to start this video right where we ended last video in leaving Terralinga, Texas and heading up to New Mexico. But on our way up there, we decided to take a little side trip and we went down Route 90 and we found Prada Marfa, which is a art exhibit along Route 90 that looks like a Prada store. Some place along Route 90 in western Texas you're going to run into this little store that it's not a store. It's called Prada Mafa. It's actually an art exhibit. Yeah, it was established in 2005 by a couple of artists. Yeah, and inside is a display from actually from their line in 2005, shoes and bags. And it's a neat little stop. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's literally a 15-minute stop along the way, but right. if you're near that area, it's something that everybody does. There was people there, you know, constantly coming in and out while we were there. Yeah. And it was it was pretty neat. Yeah. After we left Prada Mafa, we head into New Mexico, and our destination for our first stop is Carlsbad, and we're staying at the KOA, Carlsbad KOA. Our reason for visiting Carlsbad and staying at the KOA, we wanted to go back to Carlsbad Caverns, and this time we decided we would take the nature trail down into the caverns. Last time we were there, last trip, we took the elevator down. Yeah, so at the, the hiking trail into the cavern is pretty neat because you're hiking down 80 stories, which is... What'd you say? Almost 725 feet. 725 feet. Um, it's it's actually a pretty easy hike down. You are walking on some steep grades, uh, up to 20 percent. So you will find that there's a few areas where, you know, you you're kind of kind of holding yourself back from going right. too fast. Right. And there is one very small section of stairs that you have to yeah. go up. Yeah. And. Uh, but let's show you the video of the cavern and going down through it. about to enter the cave, walk in this time instead of uh, taking the elevator. Yep. It's not bad at all, really. No. It's a little, you know, it's just, it's at 20% grade. Yeah. So it's a little steep, but not too bad. Yeah. 80 stories, though. Oh, wow. It's like walking down from the top floor of the Empire State Building or something. Yeah. But it's all downhill, so. Right. Mile and a quarter. This right here represents an 80-foot drop entrance into the cave. Now the path we took down is different. It was man-made, but the natural entrance would have been 80-foot drop like this to get into here. This area behind me is known as the Devil's Spring.
This area was called Balloon Room. The explorers who came in here to this section of the cave tried to use helium balloons to float in here so they could attach a rope to one of the slag mites up at the ceiling and scale down. It took many attempts, but they eventually did it. This is known as Iceberg Rock. It fell from the ceiling and it's one of the largest rocks ever to fall. Now it's unlikely that any more rocks will fall because the ceiling is now domed and it supports itself much better. But apparently water coming down through the ceiling loosened this rock and caused it to fall. made it to the bottom of the cave. And now we're going to enter the big room. We've done the big room before, so we do have a video on that that has more detail, but we'll show you a little bit as we go through this time. Okay. Let's go. Those formations above me are known as Lion's Tail. This formation is known as the Temple of the Sun. Made it back to the elevators. This is our ride out. Yep. You ready? Taking the elevator. Yeah. Yes. A lot of walking. Two, two and a half miles. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna cheat a little bit maybe and take the elevators. Yeah. a bad hike at all and it really it is very interesting just to go down that trail right. to see that part of the caverns and then um, so that was the main reason we went back because last trip we went into the main room after we took the elevator down and spent quite a bit of time in there this this time after having been in the main room we didn't spend as much time we kind of just kind of walk through it. We probably spent, yeah, we probably didn't spend as much time, right. but we spent a good amount of time. Yeah, we spent a good amount of time, but yeah. probably not as much yeah. as we did. I would say we probably time. spent two hours going down. Yeah. Um, an hour, hour and a half to two hours going down, and we probably spent about an hour and a half in the main room walking that. And the total distance of walking is a mile and a half down and a mile and a half through the main room. So, no. Is it a mile and a half? It's about a mile and a half. Maybe it's a mile and a quarter. Um, so you've got roughly two and a half to three miles of walking in there, which isn't too bad. No, it's an easy walk through the main through the main room. Yeah, and, and then we took the elevator up. Yes, we decided there were people going up, you know, walking Couple, the trail yeah. up, but no, 
we decided we would take the elevator up. The, the neat thing about doing this, and I think what you were try, what you were saying, is that you know doing the walk down it was almost like a whole new experience, yes. a new way of experiencing the caverns, which we didn't do before. Uh, which made it feel new and fresh to us as we went there right. and and you know even going back through the cavern because we were just so in awe of the caverns the first time we went through there that going back you know really was a no-brainer we just you know if we were going to be in the area we were going to do that right. and I think we'd go back again and just do something different I mean there's you know ranger tours or audio tours right. that you could take there's a lot more you could do that we haven't done yet that I think we would do again right and there is a a nice gift store in there there's yep. a restaurant there's a souvenir shop yeah so yeah it's well worth the trip you do have to drive up a pretty good hill yeah pretty good hill to get there yeah and we were there on a windy day so obviously an outside video we weren't able to do much it's extremely windy today so I don't know how well you're gonna hear me but we're back to Carlsbad's cavern this is the second time we visited here we were here in uh, November of 21 but we wanted to come back because we wanted to walk into the cavern. The first time we were here, we took the elevator down and we feel we missed a little bit of the experience. So we want to come back this time and walk the trail. We mentioned it was really windy while we were there. We actually had to change our reservations. The, our travel day would have been a real windy day and we're talking up to 80 miles an hour. And we didn't feel comfortable towing through the mountains through New Mexico and high winds like that. No. <laughs> so we so we extended our stay. We we made a movie day out of the extra day, and then we went the following day uh, to Armagordo, which is near White Sands, and that's where we're headed today. So that now that you're kind of caught up, but in Armagordo we stayed at the KOA here, and we've been here before, so we link a video of that uh, up above. But this is also another, you know, nice KOA. Yeah. The campsite here is pretty nice size. We've got a nice picnic table, a fire pit, and plenty of room for a large rig. Um, we're actually pulled way forward in the site, and you can see we've probably got another uh, 20 feet here at the back of the Airstream. So the very good size, you could put a big rig in here very easy. Um, cost on this campground is about $47 a night. So it's not the cheapest, but it's reasonable enough, and it's a nice place. And it was just a one-night stay. Uh, we did visit Pistachio Land again, which is one of the attractions of Amagordo. And, uh, and we saw the Nutmobile. And we saw the Nutmobile. <laughs> you know, you've heard Plant of the Wienermobile. This is the well, Planter's Nutmobile. Is, right, and it was parked in the parking lot. Yeah. And uh, so we went inside, bought a few things, and... Uh, now we're just getting ready to take off and we're heading towards White Sands National Park. Yep, so that will continue our uh, little journey next and we'll catch up with you when we, after we, when we get to White Sands in our next destination. You're smiling like a little kid. <laughs> now I'm looking, I'm going, oh, I'm not sure now. <laughs> <laughs> not sure which hill? Not sure if I want to do it. Oh. Let's <laughs> 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 You're going to 
gonna go with me? <coughs> I'm gonna roll down. Seriously, that looks like a long ways down. <laughs> Watch out. I think you gotta keep working your way towards the edge. Well. There you go. Then what? I don't know. Lean forward. I don't know. There you go. There he goes, Zeph. Zeph, you can go with him. You made it to the bottom. Getting last minute instructions from your crew? Yeah. What do you think, Zeph? Okay to go down? Wish me luck. Now, remember, lean back. The problem is I have just too much weight in all directions. Did you have fun playing in the sand? Yes, it was a lot of fun. It's the first time we've been on a sled in, I can't tell you how long. Decades? Probably decades. <laughs> um, it was fun. Yeah. Climbing in the sand, I think, may be a little bit more difficult than climbing on the, in the snow. But I think I'm they're pretty close. Sure they're they're yeah. pretty close. But yeah, it was fun. We took, what, three, three runs, three, four runs? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it was fun. Yep. Yeah, if they could figure out a way to get us back up the hill a lot easier, we'd go more. Right. Right. But the dogs enjoyed it. Yeah, they watched us. Yeah. We didn't, um, you know, attempt to get them on the sled, but Ma Zephyr might have. Monty, that's a definite no. Yeah. But yeah. So they they lay down and watched. I don't know if he could go down the hill with her on the sled. Yeah. Too much weight. Probably. But it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun, Ed. Yeah. Red Sands National Park. Yeah, worth worth a stop. One of the fun things to do at White Sands National Park is to buy yourself one of these sleds for $25, which we did on this visit. And each of us went down several times, had a lot of fun. And one of the nice things is you can return the sled and get a $5 credit. So that's what we're going to do right now. So if you'd like this video, what should they do? Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit that bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you follow along on our journeys, especially like this one. So, until the next time, guys, we will see you down the road. See you down the road. Bye, Bye. guys. It's not waste time. Take this slow.